Hello everyone. Today I am going to cover the very important part of the CNS examination. As I have already covered higher mental function, science of meningeal irritation, cranial nerve and motor system examination. Today I am going to tell you the details of sensory system examination. So the sensation are broadly categorized into spatial and the somatic sensation. I have already explained this part in the cranial nerve examination. So not going into the detail today about the spatial sensation. I will cover the somatic sensation today in which touch, temperature, pain, pressure, position will be covered. Somatic sensations are further classified into primary and the secondary sensations. In primary sensation further classified into superficial and deep sensations. Superficial sensation also known as extroceptive in which pain, touch and temperature. In deep also known as proprioceptive pressure, position and vibration comes. And secondary also known as cortical sensation in which two point discrimination, tactile localization, estrogenosis and graphesthesia comes. There are mainly two sensory tracts for the somatic sensations. One is the spinothalamic tract also known as anterolateral sensory system or anterolateral spinothalamic tract in which anterior spinothalamic tract for the crude touch and lateral for the pain and temperature. Posterior column and medial lemniscus also known as posterior sensory system for the deep sensation, pressure, position, vibration and also for the light touch and cortical sensations. The structures which are involved for the sensory perception are from the receptor in the skin mucous membrane as a thermoreceptors and in muscle tendon as a mechanoreceptor. Then it travels to the peripheral nerve dorsal root ganglia considered as a first order. Then in a spinal cord as a second order then travel to the brain stem. Then in thalamic nucleus considered as a third order. Then in sensory cortex parietal lobe considered as a fourth order neuron. Now the things which will be required for the sensory system examination. Tunic fog 128 hertz to test tube with the cool and warm water. Safety pin, coin, any cuboid or cube structure and cotton wisp. So before starting the sensory system examination, we should explain to the child that we are going to touch your uh, body part with the cotton or other things and we should instruct the child child should respond which part of the body right left and exactly which part is touched by the cotton or other things and child should keep the eyes closed all the times and before touching any body part we should show the child that we are going to touch with the cotton or with the pin and assessment should be done from distal body part toward the proximal and also we have to compare the right and left part simultaneously. So how to assess the superficial sensation in which first is for light touch. We will use the cotton wisp. So in this video you can see I am touching the distal body part with the cotton wisp also comparing the right to the left and child should respond which part of the body is touched by the cotton wisp. So this is the method for the light touch. Ideally we should expose the all body parts except genitals so we will be able to know which dermatome is affected as seen in the peripheral neuropathy. Now for the pain sensation we can use the safety pin and we should show the child that we are using the safety pin and we will touch both blunt and the sharp end of the safety pin and child should respond which stimuli either sharp or dull stimuli is touched to the which body part for the pain sensation. Last superficial sensation is temperature sensation. In this video you can see I am using the test tube which is filled with the warm water up to 40 degree centigrade and another with the cool water up to 30 degree centigrade temperature. And we should tell the child uh, the sensation either cool or warm whichever is filled when we are touching. After superficial sensation, we should assess the deep sensation in which for pressure we can use our thumb to press the body part and child should say which body part is pressed by our thumb. 
So in this video, you can see I'm comparing both right and left and moving from distal to the proximal for the pressure sensations. Now for the position sensation, we will hold the hand and we will move the finger up and down and child should respond either up or down. Similarly, we can perform in the lower legs also by moving the toes. So in this image, you can see how to perform for the position sensations. For position, we can perform the Romberg test also. I have already explained the details of Romberg test in the 8th cranial nerve examination. Whenever child is having the loss of position sense in the legs, having the sensory ataxia, and when we will tell the child to close the eyes, child will not be able to maintain the posture. And it is seen in the peripheral neuropathy, tabis dorsal is considered as a Romberg sign positive. Now for the vibration sensation, we should use the 128 Hz tunic fork. And in this video, you can see I'm striking the tunic fork with our elbow or we can charge the tunic fork striking the thinner aspect of our palm. And we should keep the tunic fork over the bony prominence. We should start from the distal part of the body, move toward the proximally and compare the right and left. We should keep over the bony prominence. And child should uh, say whenever child is having the feeling of budge sound for the vibration sensations. Now cortical sensation in which two point discrimination. So in this video you can see I'm using the compass. We can use a V-shaped clip in which the distance between the two blunt point can be adjusted. So this is the ability to recognize simultaneously two blunt point. So at the fingertip child can uh, feel up to 1 mm distance and at fingertip 2 to 4 mm, dorsum of palm 4 to 6 and at palm 8 to 12 mm and at dorsum of hand 20 to 30 and dorsum of foot around up to 40 mm. So we can adjust the distance between two plant point to assess the two point discrimination. After that for the tactile localization, simultaneously we have to touch the two body parts. So if the child is able to perceive two stimuli simultaneously, we can either touch by the cotton or with the our finger. Example in this video, you can see I'm touching the face and the upper limb simultaneously. We can touch the both the limbs simultaneously, right and left, or we can touch the face or any limb. So this is tactile localization. Now for the stereognosis, this is the ability to recognize or identify the object by feeling. So in this video, you can see I have given the chocolate to the child. Now I am giving the coin. We should give the either pin, safety pin or any circular or cube shape structure. So child should be able to identify the object. Its shape, its texture, everything should be feel by the child. It is labeled as a stereognosis. Now for the graphesthesia, we will explain to the child to close the eyes and we will draw uh, any number or any letter over the palm and child should recognize the written letter or number over the skin. This is graphesthesia. So this is all about the sensory system examination. In next video, I will cover the cerebellar function assessment. Thank you so much.